All right, so this video is about self-love, okay? A word often used, easily understood, self-explanatory, but not always practiced. Very few people practice it, matter of fact. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, 85% of people hate their jobs, not happy with their lifestyle. There's a lot of people in this world that are very unhappy. And they have things. They have monetary value. They have things. They have house, home. Especially in uh, the Western civilization, we have a lot of benefits and lifestyle that people would actually give a lot of things up for. Okay? And um, we, you know, people aren't. doesn't make people happy. So, as you see, self-love is something that is free it costs nothing there's no monetary value so why is it so hard to get why can't we obtain this well just like air air is free people don't appreciate it it's not important it comes easy we'd rather complain about our lives what we don't have and what what other people have instead of you know look at that guy and look at her and she's got this whether it's physical whether it's their, 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 again, financials, their friends, their lifestyle, whatever, their celebrities, whatever, okay? This stuff right here doesn't relate or translate to self-love, obviously. When you look at the celebrities and all the problems people have in their lives that they've created upon themselves, okay, it's definitely the opposite of self-love. And people don't understand why you have all this money. Why are they always they're doing dumb stuff with their money? And why is he in jail? Why does she do that? You know, she's got all this money. I'd go shopping. I'd do this. I'd do that. They've done all that. They've done all the shopping, the dating, and the running around. They did all that. They got money. They can get lawyers to get them out of situations in most cases. Okay? Some people take care of themselves. They, they, some people take themselves off the planet. Not happy. You know, that's a fail. Okay? Not happy. You go, but why? I don't understand. It's mind-boggling, yes. But then at the same time, you get up and go to work at mo on Monday complaining. Damn job. And, you know, don't want to go to work on Monday because why? You're not happy. You're there just to get by. Most people are living life blissfully unaware or they don't care about elevation, self-love building themselves up and adding value. It's not important. You know, I'm okay where I'm at. I'm comfortable. Sometimes self-love is just getting by. It's good enough. I don't want to rock the boat. So people are scared to change, okay? But self-love is more than these things, okay? Self-love, again, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Self-love is a decision, okay? One of the most biggest, one of the most powerful things in the world in my opinion, something that would love. I think, I think, I think decision, you know, the Heavenly Father, God, the big G, the big man upstairs, instilled in all of us the power of decision. Right? So if you decide to do nothing in your life, make a decision. Doesn't matter. Whereas love, if you don't love yourself, you know, someone says, oh, you got to love this. I don't want to love. That's the decision. Love, love is more optional. Okay. Not preferable, but it's more optional if you decide, hey, you know what? I'm not going to love. So you've decided no matter what you're starting from the blocks of decision, but you add decision or you decide to love, nothing can stop you. Now, the only thing that's the deterrent to that. The negative part that can stop you is you don't, if you don't take that love from the inside and internalize it, okay? Love is not what you get on the outside. That's the misconception. So you make, that's where you go wrong. People go wrong with this. Love is from inside. It's in, in, intrinsic from here on the outside. You have to build the blocks on the inside. Without the right foundation on the inside, nothing you build out is going to last. It's going to be fleeting, okay? Fleeting at best. It will not last. Why? Because it's circumstantial. It's all the outside stuff. Superficial doesn't count. It's not important. It doesn't last. Okay? Whereas when you build from the inside, you don't need the money because what you're having is the value that you can't buy. 
the most expensive things in the world, the most precious things is the things you can't buy. <laughs> you can't buy it. Why? Because when you build it from the inside, no one can take it from you. You build knowledge in here and you use it, no one can take it from you. You can lose your house, your car, but if you value, if you're a millionaire and you've built it from the ground up, and millionaire now is middle class. <laughs> so, you know, but if you build it up and the tax man comes and takes all your stuff, you'll be upset. But because it's not your first challenge or your first knockdown or your first financial uh, uh, mountain that you had to climb, throw on your shoes and climb again because you know how. You have it built in intrinsically. You have the knowledge and the experience to build more. And you probably double and triple that because now you know what you did from the beginning that you've built for so many years. Now you got a chance to tear things down and start it better. If I, if I knew that 10 years ago, I would have built it this way. If I knew it was 20 years, I would have started this way. But something happens in your life. Oh, now you got, you got ground zero. Got it? So that's the importance of self-love. Of self How do we get there? Okay. I, 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 you got excuses why you can't do stuff. Uh, people around you is your excuse. Where you're from is your excuse. Um, not the right time is no excuse. I got, I got, uh, I, I got to get the money right. You know, that's an excuse you can use, which is not an excuse. So, you know, you only stop yourself and get in your own way. Oh, I feel I don't deserve it. Okay. So how do we fix this? Well, first of all, you, you need to take a look at where you are right now. The people you're around, number one. What, what people that you run, that's, are they positive, negative? Because those are people that are setting the precedent of who you are because you picked them. That's why. Outside of family, you know, you picked them. All right? And the friends, you spend more time with your friends than your family in most cases. Okay? Especially these days. Okay? So, because you decide to hang out, you know, and play video games all day. Or you hang out and drink all with your friends. Or you hang out on the beach all day. You, you, or you skateboard all day long and you're 30 years old. <laughs> or, you know, whatever it is. And this is non-productive. And your friends are non-productive. Or you sit around the house and watch TV all day. The, the talk shows and, and the judge shows. You know all the cases and you know all the, the literature. And, and the, 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 oh, he's, oh, he's going to get off of that one. That's an easy case. This and that. But you sit on the couch all the time. Playing quarterback judge, <laughs> that doesn't work. It's not productive. So, self-love, where do we start? You start from the inside. Start from the ground, brick by brick, okay? Find out, first of all, if your environment is toxic and you're hanging out there and you love it, then it's not, you're not in that position. You don't have the self-love attribute at this point in time. If you do, it's very minuscule. So, what you need to do is start to change your environment. The people that you know are not good for you. I'm not telling you to cut them off completely, but cut your time back. Pull back on that time. If you have to, spend more time at home than you do out with the friends. Oh, nah, man, you know, I got some work I got to take care of, you know. It's, you know, I got I to gotta do that, you know. But maybe next time, next week, or tomorrow, or next, but always push it back. Why? So you can pull back here and start changing your behavior. Find out what you love to do because we all have gifts on the inside. The gifts... That you, uh, for contribution, how can you have talents? You have creativity, okay? F someone else is doing what you, what you love to do. Find out what that is, okay? Yeah, I like to write, but not really. So I like to this or this, or I, I'd rather talk. I'd rather this. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather build. I'd rather build some. I'm an, I'm an engineer at heart. I'm a mechanic, okay? I like to calculate like computations. I like to calculate things. I like to take puzzles away and build the, put them together again. There's a niche group for you somewhere. You find your group and find your tribe on the productive side. Have a productive tribe. If you have to, you have your old friends and your hangout tribe. Okay? Be multifaceted. But you spend more time, you're 80% over here. Okay? And then you're 20% here, 10% here with your friends, 10 with the girl or 20 with the girl, whatever. But the main thing you want to focus on getting the position of purpose over here. That's the bottom line. Because you have to find out who you are. If you love yourself, you respect yourself. First thing, so how do we get to from, from uh, hanging over here to here? 
Like I said, you got to pull back. Okay? Do nothing. Sit at home. Figure it out. Okay? You know you have some skills. Someone said, oh, you're good at this. Or you know you're good at some things. And then you say, oh, I don't know right now what I'm good at. Okay, I get it. You don't know right now what you're good at. But if you did know, what would it be? That's how you answer your questions. That's how you get the answers because the answers are already inside. The I don't know what I want to do is resistance. Okay, the, me the mind mentally cuts off resistance when you feel like, oh, I don't know what I want to do. And then when you say, oh, but if you didn't know what you want to do, but you, if you had to pick something, what would it be? You go, yeah, well, I couldn't, I don't know what I want to do, but I, I do like, I do, I, I am an engineer. I do, I'm really good with fixing my cars and stuff. Then automatically you got a road here. You could be a manager. You don't have to get your hands dirty if you don't want to. You can go online. You can sell auto equipment. You can sell uh, tech or you can do auto tech. You can just, you know, there's, there's always a, a door now, especially nowadays. Go online. See who's doing what you like. Someone's doing what you like. Then find a way to do it another way. That's it. Okay. It doesn't matter what it is. Knitting, you know, uh, making cakes, cooking. Okay. If you're building uh, science projects and you, and you like dinosaurs and, you know, whatever, the stars and NASA and all that, look at those things. Okay. Find niches. Okay. For yourself. Now, so once you do that, you have to come up with dedication. So you start out with the, br the bricks of this. The self-love comes in when you start focusing here on the inside. Okay, focus on self right now. Focus on self. How? Start getting physically. Start walking a little bit. If you got to walk, take care of yourself, exercise, start eating better. Those things you can do off the rip. You don't need no thinking skill for that. Start feeling better and change it and get your body alkalized. Okay, the alkaline will help you to start having a better energy about yourself. So, so it's a long path, but you got to start somewhere. You're already, you're already on a long path fucking up. Don't get, get off that path and change, change fucking tracks. Change tracks and keep it trucking, man. That's it. So listen, you got to have the dedication because dedication will give you the commitment to yourself. The commitment to yourself will give you the ritual to yourself. The ritual to yourself will become a standard, a normal routine. Routines are hard to break. That's why when you're over here and you say, I don't know what I want to do, and your body, your mind's resisting, it's resisting change. Because if you change now, you may fail. Got a clue for you. The faster you fail, the better you get at it. Challenges. You get better at challenges. The more you fail, the faster you figure out a solution. And it becomes a norm. So when you get to a point in your life where you are making some money, there's going to be more challenges, but you have the training the challenge training back here with the little bullshit, remember? So now you know how to get around that and get over that mountain and plow right through that fucking mountain and knock and blow it to smithereens, right? That's what you got to do to be your best self, period. Live my best life, eh, eh, and then sit home on the couch living the best life. Best life is hanging out, chilling out. Doesn't mean it's self-love. Self-love is building yourself so much value here that the contribution is the only way you're going to get solace, and that's the trick. That's how the universe works. When you build in the value, your cup runneth over, and it's nothing to give it away, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not worried about someone taking my stuff, and eh, eh, because it, it's overflowing. There's always something new. It's always an innovation. I'm turning another corner here and there. I'm always pivoting, okay? You can't, I can't help but pivot because I can only go up, got it? So, and because you're on these channels, like I said, when you come to these channels, there's, there's dating and all this other stuff like that, you're working, you're a small niche group, okay? And you're trying to be your best self, okay? One way or the other, okay? So, and if you do it just to get girls and get ass or whatever, that's something else, but you that may lead somewhere else also, got it? So there's a lesson for everybody here, you understand? And that's the whole point. Not just my channel, wherever, whoever you're going, whatever, but these things, we're the weirdos. There's self-love, self-help, we're looking at butterflies and all that. We're the weirdos, okay? Because why are you loving yourself? Why do you feel you're so important? You're so ditty. People call me bougie, all that. Come on. So it's not that I'm bougie. It's just that I have a high regards for myself. And I'll never let anybody take that. And when you have self-love like this, this is why women come into your life or people come into your life, they don't serve you. It's easy to get rid of them. I, I, I'm, it's done. This is, I'm out. You trying to sell me a deal? Trying to get trying to get me to buy take stake in your company, don't sound right. Balance sheets off. 
I'm out. That's it. I'm, I'm moving on because it doesn't serve me. My ecosystem is as such where that's negative toxic. That tox, 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 toxicity is going to destroy my environment. It's going to affect it some kind of way. I take it off balance. I don't like that. So I'm not going to get involved in that. You know, I love myself a little too much for that. Okay. So, the, but having these rituals and, and the self, the self discipline to know when something is not in your wheelhouse, not in your ecosystem of success, it's easy to get rid of it. Why? Because you invested too much time in it. I've got too much time in this shit to let somebody come in here and rock my fucking hustle. No one's doing that. Nobody. That should be your attitude. Come in with that shit. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here. But you can't say that. But the mentality is that it, it, it should take, it should be that, that, that strong and that means that much to you that you take offense to anything that's going to affect your environment. Now, you don't lose your fucking top and you don't say all kind of losing your emotional, you know, position and all that. You still stay calm, but you know what it is. And you just simply and tactfully, you know, yeah, this is a, it's not going to work. It's not a good fit. You know, yeah, no, I had a good time though. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, we'll do it again sometime. Boom, done, off. Simple as that. I don't care if it's business. I don't care if it's fun and sex or your friends and something that's not going and, and not agreeing with your system and it's something that you feel is not going to serve you. Wait a minute. Don't waste your time. Why? Because your time is here. That's that's so much more valuable because this is intrinsic and it expresses itself extrinsically it comes out it's a glow you can't help it flashies from the outside buying a car to show the girl i got the car i got the clothes show the girl i dress right i got you know my friends to show the girl i got a lot of social skills and social proof but the guy with the values behind all that sitting at the, at the bar by himself chilling talking to the bartender a couple of people around he shines he's got a glow about him it's different women can feel that they're value seekers. Got it? So, some women are superficial value seekers. Okay? That's who you're attracted when you do this. When you go to the club and the, the, the strip club and they're dancing and they're dancing and trying to get the dollars out of you. You're making it rain, all that bullshit. So, that's what that is. So, that's another story, though, for another day. Yo, why subscribe, comment below. See people sign into the, to the, contact, to the content on the channel. Appreciate you. My day ones, we're running strong. Yo, like, subscribe, comment below, Excel, and I'm out.